This is the best team from Mami Akron right now to date. Best has ever been done before. And why is that? This is the Dot Karan team. Why is the Dot Karan team so good, you might ask? It's because we're running all the lesbians on it, okay? We have the two lesbians paired up together, Black Swan and Miss Akron. So their pairing's already amazing together. Not only that, we're running Mami Kafka with it as well. So we're running a triple threat waifu team with a little Gigapard or Fire MC or Fushuan, whatever you want to choose for your sustain character. So this is the best team in Honkai Star Rail. And why is it the best team in Honkai Star Rail? Well, I think we already mentioned it, alright? It might not be the best for damage. It might not be the most efficient because you're using 3 DPS on one team. But by god, I tell you what, it absolutely clears Mach 12 very easily. Don't mind my mommy Acheron stats because they're down bad horrendous. But with that be- I'm so sorry for that. Anyways, guys, we're going to be talking about this team, how it's built, how it's ran, everything like that. So stick around for the video. Let's go ahead and hop into how the team is built right now. Starting off with our number one, Black Swan first, because we're going to save Acheron for the end so you can see how crappy her build is, but she still pulls through. So let's start off with Miss Meredith, Black Swan first. Why did I call her Meredith? I have absolutely no clue, but let's talk about what she's running, her stats and everything like that. Taking a look now at what her stats are looking like, guys, she's running a 3,900 attack stat. That's huge, let me tell you. She's also going to be running 141 speed. Crit rate, crit damage doesn't matter at all. And she is missing exactly 0.4% effect hit rate. So we don't get the maximum buff from her passive. We're missing 0.4% or wherever the number rounds up to, right? As far as light cones we're running here, we're running her signature light cone. Obviously, you don't have to run her signature light cone. You can run good night sleep well. You can run eyes of prey. You can run really whatever you want to here. But I have her signature light cone. So by God, I'm going to use her light cone. Taking a look at the relics we're running, we're running a four piece prisoner set. Why you might ask? Well, that's easy. It gives you defense shred. And what does Miss Black Swan do with her skill? Defense shred. And what skill do we not use a lot of during this battle? Her skill. So we're going to get all the defense shred we need from this set right here. Let's go, baby. So just running a full dot set. This is what you want to run generally with every dot character. As you can see, the planner set here as well. We're also running two piece pan galactic, pan cosmic, whatever. It's, the name is now, they've changed it, and I can't stop pan, saying Pan Galactic now. Obviously, there's other options you can run. Space Ceiling Station works here. Glamoth also works here as well. But I already had this farmed up for Sampo way back when, so it, it, that's what we're using. With Acheron's lesbian sidekick out of the way, let's talk about the real mommy, the dominator of it. Miss Mommy Kafka. Oh, I'm getting saucy just looking at her. But let's talk about how she's built, guys. Taking a look at the stats here first, right here, like a meteorologist forecast. I am, I'm your weatherman. She's running 20. 2900 attack oh, oh uh guys i'm not gonna lie the showcase i show is running these stats um i might have messed up a little bit i might have put the wrong gear on kafka for the showcase but i'm not going back and changing it now so guys for the sake of this showcase we're running 2,900 attack, 143 speed, 19 crit rate, 55 crit damage. I'd uh, say, so yeah, and then as far as light cones, we're not running good night sleep well. Why would I use my S5 good night sleep well when I have E1 eyes of prey? So that's what we're using here right now. God, I fucked up real bad on this one. So yeah, the relics are the same as Miss Swan's relics. We're running four piece uh, Prisoner of the Deep Confinement. As you can see, everything's under level because I forgot to swap her back with all of her relics. So yeah, she can definitely go higher damage than this because I'm nowhere near running her best set that I have on her. So more relatable. That's, that's what I'm doing for you guys. I made it more relatable for you guys. Too bad when we get to Acheron, that's going to be the most relatable thing you've ever seen in your life. Eidlons, we're running E1. Uh, E1 here is nice. You get extra damage for dots with follow-up attack. You don't need this at all, by the way. The, the, like I said, the only thing this does is increase the amount of dots you do on the enemy, which increases Kafka's damage. This doesn't help in any way, shape, or form as far as getting Mami Acheron's ult up because Kafka is literally here following up giving dot on the enemy, which gives you a free stack for Mami Acheron. Also, with Kafka during this battle, you're going to need to use her skill just about every single turn because her basic attack offers nothing of value. And with Mami Acheron being on the sideline here, she's able to reproc the dot, which then in turn gives mommy kafka or a debuff to give to mommy akaron so 
very easy, very snappy, very clappy there. Now let's hop into Miss Mommy Acheron. Now, psych I lied. We're gonna talk about our sustain character really quick. It doesn't matter if you run Fire MC, Japard, or Fushuan, right? I don't really like Fushuan on this team. I would prefer to put Fushuan on a team with Sparkle and let that thing rip. But for the sake of this, you can run Fushuan on your team if you want. With Trends of Universal Market, this thing right here, I've been praising this, touting this up so for so long. This this light cone is amazing. Level one up now if you have it, okay? It's gonna help you out tremendously as far as getting extra debuffs off on the enemy, meaning your Acheron's able to ult more. Very, very nice, very, very kosher even. Uh, so yeah, very, very good there. Now, you see, I, me, you two can't see me, probably should have used uh, Miss Fushuan here because when we get to the showcase, we're gonna see how abysmal uh, by Acheron does because she never crits because her crit rates uh sent to the shadow realm you could say okay so let's talk about miss mommy Acheron now am i running her signature light cone absolutely because my stats are so abysmal that i am i'm running it i'm running it okay the crit damage helps me trust me i'm running a crit rate body and these are my stats still we're 3k attack so so that's that's cool uh we're also at 140 speed so so that's cool, and then our crit rate's at 46%, and our crit damage is at 189%. Uh, yeah, guys, like I said, uh, my Acheron's in the dumps, guys. I think I maybe hit a crit three times this whole battle with her, okay? The showcase was horrible, down bad, okay? Please, God, send help. Send likes over this way now before we hop into this showcase. But let's take a look at the relic set she's running, guys. It's the same as the video I did the other day that performed horribly. Go watch it if you're free to play and you want cool teams for Acheron because all these teams are amazing for her. But what we're running is a three-piece pioneer with a one break effect piece why you may ask well because all of my gear for the pioneer set rolled absolute garbage crit rate and crit damage we got flat hp and defense on uh, all these pieces right here so uh, very very cool so that's why we're running this but look at me look at this break effect this, this break effect's pretty nice, right? Is, is, is this break effect pretty nice? Yeah. Anyways, guys, we're running that with the two-piece Inazuma set. And yeah, this also rolled a visibility as well. So yeah, crit rate for me is uh, down in the dumps. Hopefully, pray for me to roll better, okay? As far as Eidolons here go, we're running E0. Yeah, we don't really need any other Eidolons here. And then you can run Fermata on this team. I showed that off in the video I showed the other day with completely free-to-play teams. You can run Fermata on this team because... We have Wind Shear and Shock on this team, so that is, is also a viable option. But if you're down bad with crit damage like me, um, then yeah, down bad. All right, gamers, hopping into this little character showcase. Now, you see you see this guy right here? Yeah, we're going to attack him first. Why? Because he's cringe, he's stinky, and he has seven stacks already. And Kafka's also going to increase those stacks, and we're just going to get Mommy Akron's ult up super, super quick. And you see how much damage it already? Now he has eight stacks. With eight stacks, I mean, come on, guys. Very easy clap. We're going to go ahead and use skill with Miss Swan here to bring down the defense. And now we're going to absolutely destroy here. Don't look at the damage. Told you the damage would be bad. Oh, 160k. <laughs> <laughs> with signature light cone, that is down bad. Okie dokie, it's okay. Skill, surely 21k. That's fine. 21k on the skill is not bad, guys. Come on, you're coping out. We're not going to break our shield here because we want to break it with Miss Mommy Acheron, okay? Now, did we break it with Miss Mommy Acheron? I don't know. We did 76k on a dot, though, so that was huge. Now, let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to attack Mr. Uh, the man over here, the, the, the dinosaur man, because why? Because why not? So, we attack him. We get the job done. Now, we have all of our stacks up, but this is the perfect time, right? He attacks our Jafar. We get an extra stack. You can see it down there. One extra stack. We have eight stacks to Crimson Knot on the girl that's about to die. That's super bad. But, now we're going to attack the dinosaur man. Hey, 128k. Told you it's bad. Anyways, guys, back to the battle here. Japard's going to use his Landau's choice. And after he uses his little Landau's choice here, we, we just need to finish this guy up early, right? We want to try to save as many skill points as we can to get in the next turn. I'm not going to use any ults here because why would I use any of these little precious, these little precious ults down here? I wouldn't do that. So we kill that. We're going to go in now fighting Mr. Svarog. Now, why do I, why, why is Mr. Svarog so cool here, right? Because he's weak to lightning and he's weak to wind. And Kafka's about to ult on his head, 83k. Yep, Eyes of Prey is really messing us up. And also the bad uh, relics we have on her are messing us up too. It's fine though, because Acheron's ulting. How much Acheron damage do you think we're going to do here? 27, 46, 79? 
115. Guys, I told you, it's down bad, okay? I am relatable. Look at this crit rate. Look at this crit rate. 58%, brother. Oh my God. God, it's so down bad. It's horrible. What am I doing with myself? Anyways, guys, let's see what we can do here. We're gonna have to end up breaking this lady's shield, unfortunately. Uh, I don't really want to break with Miss Kamami Kafka here. I want to save all breaks for Acheron if I can to really maximize her damage, but we're gonna have to do it. 60k on the skill there. That's fine. Go ahead and use Miss Acheron's skill here. We're at four stacks now. Easy clap. Now, how many cycles did I complete this in? I have absolutely no clue. Let's rewind the tape and check. <laughs> Okay, so looking back and seeing how many cycles, we started this on cycle 27, we're on cycle 26 now, so we've used the equivalent of one cycle right now, right? We're almost on 20, cycle 25 now, so that's gonna be really cringe if we get there. Okay, yeah, look, follow-up attack. Jupar, I'm telling you, extra stacks from literally just existing on the team. She gets one follow-up attack every time she has a turn, so you want her as fast as possible to get as many of those as possible. Now, this stinky hand here, I don't like this hand. Now, he's going to attack us. He gets burned, right? So we get an extra stack for Acheron, but look at this. He took my Black Swan! Where's the, where's the, where's the targeting for my Jupar, brother? He's supposed to have a high aggro rate, but no, we take Mommy Swan. Her, You know what? This guy, you see this guy right here? He knows what he's doing, all right? He's taking her, he's taking her, his, her lesbian partner, okay? And she's not gonna take too kindly to this, right? Just watch when she ults here. She absolutely, undeniably destroys him here, okay, guys? Now, watch this. Nine stacks, 27k on that break. Boom! 50k on that break. 76k, 126k, god, it's so bad. It is so undeniably bad. I'm running her signature light cone here, and it is so down bad. Anyways, guys, oh, 30k, we did 30k. We did decent with that skill there. You saw 30k there? Oh, we get a follow-up attack, that's fine. Now he's at 44%. Okay, guys, we're almost on cycle 24 now. Now, surely we're able to kill him, right? He has 30% HP, we're about to get her ult back. We're about to have two ultimate moves up. There is no way possible, there, guys, there is no way possible that we get Molly, there's no way that she doesn't kill here, right? We're gonna ult with Miss Swan here, right? Now watch this ultimate, guys, watch this. Bam! 5k. 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 What the fuck is this? What is going on right now? Yeah, guys, uh, I think it's Jover uh, for my Acheron. She is the worst Acheron you've ever seen. She is the worst performing character in the game. I don't know why I said she was S tier. She's actually F tier. I am so sorry. The screen's black and white right now because in her little domain expansion, because that's how I feel on my inside. That's how my heart feels right now because she has turned me the wrong way. She has absolutely screwed me over and... Oh, and she finished the ult off with, oh, 88k. Okay, well, okay, surely that skill is, 